Hello everyone and welcome to episode 5 of the Turbo Discovery Championship. Today we are doing our crash testing and as promised we are going in order from our best looking cars to our worst looking cars. For this test I first took everyone's car and drove it straight into a wall at 60 miles per hour and then I took the damage percentage from that and then the second half was taking a semi truck and driving it into the side of your car also at 60 miles per hour and then I took the damage percentage for that combined them and then that was your final damage percentage and so of course in this test the lower your percentage was the better you did first is the Comac XTR which got an overall crash percentage of 37.4 Next is the Sunshine GTI, which got 29.5. Next we have the Altair TI-5, which got 32. Next is the TS-180 with 35.7. After that is the Bandit Turbo RX with 30.3. Then we have the Piranha 75 TB with 37.2. Next is the Raptor GT6 with 39.3. After that we have the Baronet Royale with 31.9. Next is the 547SR with 33.8. And I couldn't help but decide that I had to try seeing if this thing could still drive. And funny enough, it actually drove pretty great. Next is the Voltus Venom Turbo, which got 42.2.
Then we have the S20R200 Turbo with 35. Next is the Tarshish with 38. After that is the Butler and Jones Rumbler, which got 29.3. Then there's the Ghost XR8 TT, which got 34.3. Next is M Gobble's GTO, which got 35.5. Next is the International Goblin TAD with 33. Next is the Sparviero 3.0 Turbo with 29. Next is the P103 with 38. Then we have the Empire Club Sport Concept with 46.4. Next is the Jupiter Turbo with 31.9. Next is the M&J Type 4 Turbo with 34.
Then we have the Goudland 875 with 40.3. Next is the 595F TTS, which got 36.6. After that is the Classic GT, which got 36. Next is the Betos V8, which got 35.6. Next is the Phenom Twin OCS, which got 29.1. Next is the VAC bullet with 35.7. Then we have the Turbo Sport Monza, which got 39.9. Then we have the Melvin Lone Star, which got 31.9. And lastly, we have the 944 Turbo S, which got 35.2. Here is everybody's crash damage percentages from best to worst. And here is our newly updated score sheet. We now have the TS-180 in first, the Altair TI-5 in second, and the Betos V8 in third. On episode 6 we should be doing either just the braking or the braking and the quarter mile together if it won't make the video too crazy long. Which I don't think it will, but we'll have to see. That's all I've got for this episode, though, so I will see you guys in episode 6.